Hi everybody, today I'm doing a painting with resin art, resin art epoxy, um, using all black diamond mica colors. I've had a few people ask me what is so special black diamond, once you try it, then you'll know. I have tried every possible mica out there that I can get my hands on and nothing compares to this. This is much more vibrant. It um, shimmers a lot more than the rest of them. I just absolutely love it. So I'm using white, green, blue, and gray, and a little bit of dark blue. So I'm gonna get mixed in. I'm gonna put, um, I am doing 12 by 24 um, canvas, but, I'm using cups because I used up all my stands. I got to go buy more. But anyway, I actually put a layer of resin on this last night and let it cure. And it's hard as a rock, so my canvas will not divot in when I put the resin on there. That is definitely a tip for you guys. So if you could just lay a real quick, real thin layer of it, let it sit overnight, then you could do your painting the next day and you're your canvas will not divot in the middle, it will not move. Okay, so let me get stirring. I'm gonna get mixing. This does take a while. So I'm going to use about eight ounces of this, eight ounces of this, somewhere around there, I don't even know. Pour it in a cup, mix it for three minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody. My resin is mixed up. Now I have a big old thing full. I think it's like three cups. Okay? <sighs> For both these panels. So it's a cup and a half each panel. It's probably a little bit too much, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to put my colors in the cups. Voila. It is such a beautiful day outside. I am so blessed to be here and painting and having the doors open and hearing the birds sing. I'm so happy today. Hopefully it shows in my paintings. So I have dark blue, gray, white, green, and light blue. And I mixed them up. They're all in my cups. I know, so here we go. I did not want to do that, did I? That's okay. Get a different stick. 
I want a lot of movement in my paintings. So whenever I paint, if I get the movement that I want, I quit. Or I keep going and going and going until I get the movement that I want. I'm gonna add a little bit of clear. I did not want that blue line, but it's okay. Sometimes it drips everywhere and you can't help it. Don't worry about it. You can incorporate it into your painting. Somehow, some way. Okay, I got a bunch of clear on there. Now I'm gonna to torch it up again. And this, what the torching does is it pops the bubbles, but it also levels this the resin. Now my white. Now the white I'm just gonna randomly pour. Actually, let me see this. Yeah, I like it. I was gonna add a little bit more gray right here, just a little. I can move the camera closer, I think. Probably needs to be. All right, now finally my white. I'm add, actually going to add a little bit more blue down here too. Now the white I'm just going to add here and there. I love what white does. It actually like almost gives a webbing effect over top of the other colors. Now you can use a heat gun, you can use a torch, you can use a blow dryer. With a heat gun, you have a little bit more control than a blow dryer. The blow dryer just kind of mutes all the colors together. I'm not looking for that right now today. Okay, so I mixed up a really, really dark blue. Duke, what are you doing, buddy? Huh? What's the matter? Okay. 
And I'm just going to go around the painting and just put some dark blue. Because I think it needs something to break this up. I love the webbing. Some people call that cells. I call it webbing. This is beautiful. Yeah, I like this color. Definitely need something to break it up a little bit. Damn, I hate when I do that. That I did not want to do, but since I did it, I'm going to put some blue up here anyway. And a little bit of blue down here. I like this blue. This blue is pretty. I don't have enough of it in the painting. You could see it up close or not. But you get your heat gun and you put it on there and you tilt it. And it breaks up the color. And you get all these little bubbles. I don't know why my video stopped videoing. Oh, that drives me nuts. Yay! I'm going to take the camera down let you see. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notifications on my next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.